Okay, guys, I'm here today with Lucas Lepre. Huge honor for me. Guys, Lucas is the best lightweight in the history of Jiu Jitsu. He has won the world seven times as a black belt. And if you watch him competing, he, he's probably the person who has the most precise techniques. So today he's gonna show us here one of his favorite techniques to take the back. So you guys will see like how precise is all his movements when he's going to pass the guard and go to the back. So I'm very, very excited to learn from him and I hope you guys enjoy it. Well, uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you. And uh, we also film like the entire uh, instructional for back taking from everywhere. Okay, so most of my fights I finish from the back. There is a reason for that because the way that I pass and position myself, I make my opponent on turning. He doesn't have much option. He's gonna give him the pass or he's gonna turn into to me or away from me that I can be able to uh, take the back from there. Once I take the back, try to maintain the back until I'm looking for the submission, okay? So this is gonna be like the position that we're gonna do now is one of the techniques that we just filmed on the DVD, okay? It's very like, you know, simple way, but there is, you know, a lot of like details and concept behind the position, you know, uh, that I'm gonna be explaining now. Uh, so also like the, you guys is gonna, is gonna see like the way that I position myself, you know, don't put much, you know, weight, like too high on him, it's gonna make him be able to turn, right? So I'm gonna explain this a little bit better now. So let's imagine that, for example, one of the, the paths that I like it is like, you know, apply the leg drag over here, okay? Putting his leg over my lap, all right? Especially from, the, from, the, from this position. But and then a lot of times he's gonna block me over here, right? Holding over here. A lot of times he's holding my, my, uh, my pants as well, you know? It doesn't matter where he's grabbing. So uh, I can apply this from the knee cut pass into, so every time that I'm blocking the guy's knee over here, they step over and start sliding my knee through, I'm gonna put the pressure. The key now is I cannot put my head too high, okay? That's like what I mentioned about like how much I can position myself. I need to position my, myself the way that he's gonna be turning easily. Because imagine that if I put my head too high, he cannot turn much, right? If I'm here, He's not able to turn. If I put my head like a little bit low, blocking just the hips, okay, he's gonna be able to turn. Because if he doesn't turn, I just like, you know, slide over here and pass. So the way that I block him, he's gonna be able to turn. Like that, look at that. Why he needs to turn? Because if he doesn't turn like that, okay, I'm just passing. When he turns, he's gonna try to turn to try to come back in the guard. Exactly, look at that. That's one of the reasons that a lot of time the guys turn. Sometimes the guys turn and spin and, and come back in the guard, right? So when he, you start to raising the hips a little bit, that's the time that I'm gonna jump to the other side to take the back, okay? I'm gonna be here passing. Look how my shoulder is gonna be blocking the guy's hips. When the guy try to raise it and pass this arm over here because he cannot you know, turn if his arm is still here. When he passed the arm over my arm and turn and raise the hips, okay, I'm gonna stay here, look at that, and force him down one time. When he comes back up again, the time that I go, action and reaction. Put my hand on the mat on the other side, put my knee in, and my right foot gonna trap over here, his leg, look at that. I'm gonna connect my heel to my knee. Now I'm gonna drag him back to me, pointing my left knee up. Now I'm gonna switch my hooks. And with my right knee, I'm gonna push his hips down. Now I'm gonna be able to apply the back take. Okay, so let's do one more time over here. I'm gonna be here. Get on the, on the position, the head quarter po position. I'm gonna go on, block the guy's knee, start switching my legs. Start try to put the pressure on him and put like try to put my forehead in here inside. Look at that. You see, my, my head was here. I just switch him and put it over here. When he tried to turn, I just can push him back. When he tried to come back, I slide my head, go one, two, slide my knee and pinch. Okay, if I don't have this, if I have just my knee, he can 
turn the hips away and escape. So that's why when I jump, I was here. I jump, putting my knee in and trap. Now I can drag him, shift and push him down with my knee. And then I'm gonna be able to stabilize the back. Oh, look, I have seen you doing that so many times. So can we kind of like start from the turtle here? So just, just make sure they can get like every single detail because I saw there, there are so many great details here. So we go, there you go. So you are in this position, you have my lapel so, and- Yeah, so when you like, for example, you're down, you're down. That's is really important detail. When you're down, when you come up, you're gonna come up on your shoulder, look that. Yeah. You're still on your shoulder. Yeah. I will not let it, you come up on the elbow. Right? If you do this, and then maybe I'm gonna, you're gonna close your elbow to your knee, and then I don't have this space. And then I have to create this space. I can start putting my knee, but and then can take longer, you know? Yeah. And, and the subject like can be the same, but maybe the guy's gonna be able to hold and defend a little bit better. So I have to get this timing. Good. You know? So That's, timing is gonna be very important. Timing, a lot of po position is important, right? You, right. Know, you have to be precise Good. to start getting the position, right? Good. So the precisions come from that. So you're here, yeah. your forehead blocking your hips, not your chest. I can have the pass, but also the guy's gonna try to turn. Notice that you still feel your, uh, your shoulder on the mat. Yeah. So now as soon as I see this gap, I just go for it. Good. Yeah. You see? And guys, that's, pay attention. that's the precision. And guys, pay attention to what he's doing here with his legs. That's very, very interesting. And I feel completely locked here. So look this. Look how my leg and my hip is stuck here. I can get here. Now I can slide my knee through and my knee now I'm gonna push your leg. So, so look on this last detail here, what did you do? So, so your, your hips, as soon as I get here, yeah. it's, it's going to be very high. Yeah. I put my knee behind your lower back and push your lower back I got it. down. That's amazing. And then instead I just put my foot and shrimp it out. I got it. You know, because a lot of times, like if, if your hip is too high and then I start doing this, you can jump to the other side. Yeah, I see here. a lot of people like that. back because of that. Exactly. So that's gonna prevent you to do that because once I jump here, I have just my knee. Yeah. As soon as I do this, my as soon as I switch my hook, my knee is already up, blocking yeah. you here. See? Now I can just push you down. I got it. And apply the back tape. Man, that's amazing. So like so for example, it's really you know like if you don't know how to control the back as well, so uh, it's, it's very easy for you to lose the back. You know? It's not just about taking the back, but how you're gonna maintain the back until you're gonna be able to finish. Good. So guys, if you watch Lucas compete, he's always on top, like passing the guard, going to people's back, and most of the times that they give him the opportunity to go to the back, he never misses it. So we shot an entire structure for him, all about back takes with Gi. So it came out really, really cool. And uh, it's gonna be soon at bjjfanatics.com. So maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So make sure to check that out. What was the call? Thank you, Thank you. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.